guys, welcome again to ITS Information Technology Skills. At today's video, we're going to have another sorting algorithm which is the quick sort. So what is a quick sort? Quick sort is a divide and conquer algorithm. A divide and conquer algorithm is another type of algorithm techniques na pwede natin gawin sa mga programs natin. Hindi natin alam ang divide and conquer algorithm. Ilalagay ko dyan sa taas ng screen nyo or sa my description box yung link para mapanood nyo yung video about divide and conquer. In quick sort, we are going to partition the array and recursively sort each part of the partition. So basically, kapag nakagawa na tayo or napartition na natin yung array natin, parang ganito ang style niya. Wherein, we have the less than p na part and we have p wherein p is called as the pivot and the greater than p na part. Dun sa mga element kasi ng array natin, mamimili tayo dun ng p or the pivot and lahat ng maliliit na value dun sa p, nandun siya sa my left part and lahat ng mas malalaking value kaysa kay p, nandun siya sa my right na part or partition. So let's say we have this array. When we are using the quick sort algorithm, always think of these elements wherein we have the p as the pivot. Meron din tayong lesser value. So let's say l na lang muna and the higher value value which is the H. Marami tayong way kung paano piliin si Pivot. Pwede siya yung first element, pwede din yung last element, pwede yung middle element, or pwede nating i-add si first element plus the last element divide by 2. Pwede lang yung mga way na yun. So, in this example, we're going to use 5 as the Pivot. Tapos, meron tayong lesser value. So, ang lesser value natin always, andito siya sa my left. Okay, so, si 6 na lang muna ang lesser value natin. Bakit hindi siya dun sa my pinakaunang element? Kasi, yung first element ko natin is si pivot. Then, the higher value, of course, dapat parating na sa left. Okay? So, yung last element naman natin ng h na yun. Now, guys, if we are using quick sort, we're going to follow this simple algorithm. Wherein, if the element of L is less than p or the pivot, increment the index of L. Then, if the element of h is greater than p, decrement the index of h. So, kapag close yung dalawa dun sa taas, meron naman tayong else. If the element of L is greater than the element of h, we're going to swap. Then, increment the index of L, decrement the index of h. If the index of l is greater than the index of h, stop na po yung partition. So, using this as simple algorithms, gagamitin natin siya ngayon dito sa array natin. So, first, identify muna natin if the element of L is less than P. So, element of L is 6. 6 less than 5, that is false. So, walang mangyayari. Then, we have if element of H is greater than P. 3 greater than 5, that is also false. So, kung false ng dalawang to, we have the else. If the element of L is greater than H, magsaswap daw po sila. So, 6 6 greater than 3, that is true. So, pag true siya, magsusop yung dalawa. Kapag nag-sop na sila, magkakaroon tayo ng bagong arrange ng array which is, kung titignan natin, nagpalit sila ng location. Andito na si 3 and andito na si 6. Then, after swapping, increment the value of L. So, kapag nag-increment siya by 1, so magiging 2, andito na si L. Then, decrement the value of H. The value of h here is 6. Kapag nag-decrement tayo ng 1, magiging 5 na lang po siya. So, ibig sabihin, andito na si h. We now identify if l is greater than h. So, 2 greater than 5. We're talking about the index. Kaya, index 2 greater than index 5 is false. So, hindi pa tayo mag-i-stop. Ibig sabihin, babalik tayo dun sa taas na step. Okay? So, identify again if element of l is less than p. So, 2 less than 5. That is true. So, pag true daw siya, increment the index of L. So, mag-increment itong L na to. Magpa-plus 1 siya. So, ibig sabihin, mag-move siya ngayon dito. Now, identify again if L is less than P. 4 less than 5. That is true. Increment again the value of L. So, mag-move ulit yung L. Lilipat siya ngayon dito. Okay? So, then, identify again if element of L is less than P. So, 7 less than 5. That is false. Then, we have the next condition. H greater than P. So, so, 1 greater than 5, that is false. Now, pag false na ang dalawa, we have the else. Identify natin if array L or element of L is greater than the element of H. Okay, so 
7 greater than 1, that is true, magsusop daw yung dalawa. So, pag nagsop yung dalawa, we're going to have a new arrangement of array. So, kung titingnan natin, nagsop lang sila ng location. Andito na si 1, andito naman yung 7. Okay? Then, after swapping, increment the value of L. So, andito si L. Pag nag-increment siya, lilipat siya ngayon dito. And decrement the value of H. Andito si H. Pag nag-decrement siya, ibig sabihin, lilipat na siya dito. Now, the value of L is 5. And the value of H is 4. So, 5 greater than 4, that is true. So, true na tong part dito. Ibig sabihin, mag-stop yung partition natin. So, dahil mag-stop yung partition natin, isisingit na natin ngayon si 5, the pivot, dun sa tamang location niya. Ang location niya kasi, kung titignan natin dito sa array natin, before mag-L, we have 3, 2, 4, 1. These elements are less than the pivot, which is 5. Then, we have 7 and 6, and dito sa my right, this is greater than the pivot. So, meron tayo nito. Yung mga mas maliit dun sa pivot natin, we have the pivot and the greater than the pivot, or higher than the pivot, right? So, this is the first partition and the second partition. Partition. So, kung titignan natin, hindi pa talaga siya arrange. We're going to repeat again this partitioning hanggang ma-arrange po yung array natin. So, kaya po siya tinawag na divide and conquer. Kasi, kung titignan natin, na-divide tong part na to, meron tayong dalawang partition. Tong part na to, i-divide mo ulit yan into another partition. So, kaya po siya tinawag na divide and conquer. Kasi, we're going to divide the array hanggang ma-arrange po siya either ascending or descending order. So, we have this algorithm or sample code in partitioning. Of course, kapag nagpa-partition tayo, kailangan natin yung array. We're going to set the low or the lower element or value and the high value. So, from the array, kukunin natin doon yung pivot natin. So, tulad dun sa example natin kanina, ang tinuha natin na pivot is the lowest index. Okay? So, meron tayo ng ARR low. Ibig sabihin, siya yung pinakamaliit na index or the first element dun sa array natin. Then, we have I na lang that will hold the index for the low and J that will hold the index for the high. Yung J natin starts with the low to compare kung mas maliit ba yung laman niya kaysa dun sa pivot. Mag-increment yung I and magsuswap yung low and high. So, magkakontinue lang yung pag-aas niya ng condition hanggang true itong part na to and hanggang matapos na yung I. So, after the loop, we're going to swap the low and the high. And, i-return natin yung index kung saan sila nahati. Okay? So, para alam ni pivot kung saan siya sisingin. So, that is the part of the partition. Then, how the quick sort works. You're going to compare yung low and high. Diba? Naalala nyo yun. Kinompare natin yung low and high. Hanggang mas maliit yung index ni low kaysa dun sa high, kukontinue natin yung pagpapartition natin. Hanggang mas maliit yung index ni low kaysa dun sa high, kukontinue natin yung partition natin. Then, after the partition, kung maalala nyo, mahati yung array natin into two parts, yung lower value and the higher value, which is, yun ulit ang i-quick sort din natin para ma-partition ulit sila. And after that, dun sa higher value naman, or yun yung mga nasa right side naman ang ipapartition natin. So, that's it guys. Ganun po gumagana ang quick sort algorithm. If you want to learn how to compute the time complexity of a quick sort algorithm, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell para manotify ka dun sa mga bagong video natin. Bye!